Hi, I'm Kevin Shelley from the University of Wisconsin Nutrient and Pest Management Program. Today we're going to discuss and demonstrate calibrating manure spreader and determining manure application rates. The process we're going to discuss involves two main steps. The first is to weigh a manure spreader to determine what a representative load of manure weighs uh, each as it goes out to the field. The second is to determine the spreading rate or manure application rate in tons per acre. We can get an idea of what the manure load weight is by using these portable wheel weigher pad scales. We can get an idea of what the application rate is by measuring an area of the field to which a known number of loads have been applied using a measuring wheel such as this. We have a publication available through the Nutrient and Pest Management Program entitled Know How Much You Haul, which outlines the necessary steps and provides a place to record the information needed to make these calculations as we're going to demonstrate now out in the field. Once we know how much manure is in the spreader in each load, the second step in the process of determining the manure application rate is to know how many loads are spread per acre. Two ways of doing that, we might just keep track of the number of loads that come out to a field of known acreage, do the math, calculate the application rate, or we might uh, take a measurement of the area to which say two loads have been spread. So for example there have been two loads of manure spread here. I'm going to measure the, uh, the width and the length to come up with the acreage uh, so we can determine application rate that way. The advantage of doing it this way is uh, we can determine where we're at when we're spreading the, starting the field and if our nutrient management plan says we need to be a little bit higher or a little bit lower then we can tweak uh, the amount of manure that we're putting on. So I'm going to start by measuring the width and then uh, I'm going to measure the length. The other thing about uh, well, if we do it this way we probably want to measure from an area to which at least two loads have been spread that way we account for any uh, normal overlap.